All right, this is the High Priestess. And when you get the High Priestess in a tarot reading, this talks about spiritual enlightenment. This talks about being connected to your guides, talks about being a very spiritual person. It also talks about um, inner knowing. There's a, just a deep inner knowing with this card. And when you get this, it's sort of like, I always feel like when I ask a question and I get the high priestess, what it's saying to me is, you know, you know, why are you even asking, right? Like this, this card is not a, not a talker. This is about a divine inner knowing, okay? And the high priestess really is about wisdom from the divine. So I kind of like when I, when I see this in a, in a reading, it makes me feel like the answers are coming from within. It's time to pay attention to your own intuition and not be looking outside for validation. Um, it's also the card of, uh, she is, this is Persephone and she's very virginal <laughs> in this, in this, um, depiction. This is the mythic deck and she's, um, she eats a pomegranate, which is, uh, I believe, an, uh, an allegory or a um, allusion to sex. And she's supposedly lured down to Hades um, by the devil for her to be his wife. And it's like she's made the mistake of, you know, eating the pomegranate, just like, you know, the story of Adam and Eve. When we talk about that, very anti-woman, but I'm just saying, Um and it really is about like making her pay the consequences for trying to get spiritual enlightenment. Pomegranate, pomegranate is that um, imagery of connecting sex to the divine, meaning that there is a it, when it, there's like a spiritual union that's happening. And so it's it's you know there's very multi levels of of story when it comes to the high priestess, and the high priestess is not. Um, going to share the information with you. The high priestess demands that you kind of suss it out yourself, right? You have to like uh, go inside and really ask the questions of your own inner knowing and that is the right answer. So when you see it in a, in a spread, just know this has to do with divine enlightenment. It has to do with you having the intuition. All you need to do is access it. We all have intuition. You just need to access it. But if there's a lot of cards around it um, that have to do with a very um, the very physical experience of life or something that really is you know mundane, and I see the high priestess in the middle of that, I think there's lessons in the mundane that are coming through that you might not be hearing, you might not be listening to. Also, when I see the high priestess and there's a lot of major arcana cards around it, I think that she is really uh, much louder than you might think. Like all the other major arcana cards are very powerful, but she is the one that's like driving the boat. So if you really want to understand an archetypal experience in your life, a big change, a big transformation, a big transition, you got to access internally. Okay. That's what this is saying to you. I'm not going to tell you your inner knowing knows. All right. That's the, that is the high priestess.